the Foreign Secretary has travelled to Israel to express the UK's solidarity in the wake of the Hamas attacks, as the King condemned the barbaric acts of terrorism. The arrival of James Cleverly in Israel comes as the world reels from the shock incursion by the Palestinian militant group, which has provoked a major retaliation from Benjamin Netanyahu's administration. Both the UK and the US have been among the major states offering firm backing to Israel but concerns have been expressed in the UN and elsewhere about the impact on civilians as airstrikes continue to hit Gaza. The conflict has already claimed at least 2,200 lives, with fears it could escalate further. A Buckingham Palace spokesman said that Charles is extremely concerned about the situation. His thoughts and prayers are with all of those suffering, particularly those who have lost loved ones, but also those actively involved as we speak. His Majesty is appalled by and condemns the barbaric acts of terrorism in Israel. The King held telephone calls with President Isaac Herzog of Israel and King Abdullah of Jordan on Wednesday afternoon, the palace said. The monarch is understood to have personally expressed his thoughts and prayers for all of those suffering. The Prince and Princess of Wales issued their own condemnation of the horrors inflicted by Hamas's terrorist attack. A spokesman for William and Kate said they were profoundly distressed by the devastating events that have unfolded in the past days. The UK government has made clear that Israel has the right to defend itself in the wake of the assault by Hamas amid an ongoing siege of the Gaza Strip. Foreign Office officials said Mr. Cleverly had met with Mr. Herzog since his arrival, with the pair discussing the UK's ongoing security, military and diplomatic cooperation with Tel Aviv in the face of terror. He also travelled with Israeli Foreign Minister Eli Cohen to the southern Israeli village of Ofakim, a site of one of Hamas strikes on the country, where he spoke with survivors. His department said the foreign secretary was the first international foreign minister to visit one of the locations targeted by the Palestinian group, which is banned in the UK and prescribed as a terror organization, during its weekend assault. Mr Cleverly said, I'm in Israel today to show the UK's unwavering support for Israel. The facts are clear. Hamas are terrorists. Israel has the right to defend itself. Hamas and Hamas alone are responsible and accountable for these appalling attacks. Terrorism must never be allowed to prevail. In a video posted on X, formerly known as Twitter, the Israeli Foreign Ministry said that Mr. Cleverly was among those who had to seek cover after sirens went off during his visit to Ofakim in southern Israel, warning of incoming Hamas rockets. His arrival in the country has sparked calls for the Foreign Secretary to express a clear humanitarian position on the fate of civilians in Gaza. The Israeli government has stopped the passage of food, water, fuel and medicine into the territory, with the sole remaining access from Egypt shut down on Tuesday after air strikes near the border crossing. The territory's only power plant ran out of fuel on Wednesday. Sasha Deshmukh, Amnesty International UK's chief executive, said, It's entirely right that James Cleverly is offering his support to Israeli civilians who've suffered in these completely appalling attacks. The horrific and completely unjustifiable human rights violations against Israeli civilians by Hamas, including war crimes, must end, and those responsible must be held to account. Mr. Cleverly should be urging all parties to the conflict, including the Israeli authorities, to respect international humanitarian law. Concerns remain for the safety of British citizens in the region, as the BBC reported that 17 UK nationals are either dead or missing, including children. 
a previous estimate had put the figure at more than 10. The UK government has not so far confirmed any figures for those believed dead or missing, pointing to the fast-moving situation in the region. Among those known to have died is Nathan L. Young, 20, who was serving in the Israeli army when he was killed during Hamas's attack. Bernard Cowan, who grew up around Glasgow, also died. Jake Marlowe, 26, who went to the same London school as Mr. Young, was originally recorded as missing but was confirmed dead by the Israeli embassy in London on Wednesday. Mr. Marlowe was providing security at the Supernova Music Festival in the desert near Kibbutz Reem when the area was invaded by Hamas gunmen. Photographer Dan Darlington is also feared to be dead. A post from Mr. Darlington's sister, Shelley, on social media said he was murdered at Nir Oz, a kibbutz in southern Israel. His death has not been officially confirmed. Labour asked for clarity about the steps being taken by the Foreign Office to ensure that anyone who wants to leave Israel is able to do so. Shadow Foreign Secretary David Lamy, in a letter to Mr. Cleverly, said, while Israeli airspace has not officially been closed, most UK airlines have been forced to cancel their flights for the foreseeable future. Several countries, have announced rescue flights to return their nationals who are stranded. Does the UK government have plans to do the same?